Hello, welcome to our channel. Now in this video, we will tell you how the cast of Air Wolf 1984 has changed. I will show you what they look like back then in 1984 and now in 2022 how they've changed compared to when they were on the show. Alright, let's go. Ernest Borgnoy in the movie, he plays Dominic Santini. In 1984, he was 67 years old and it was with great sadness that Borgnoy died of kidney failure on July 8, 2012 at Cedar Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. He is 95 years old. Pitch. Sure! The good guys in the north are on the side of apple pie and baseball and the bad guys in the south are sipping vodka. We dollars or something like that, you know, but uh, it was quite something and uh, it was new for me and uh, of course it, it, it opened up the, the whole vista for me, you know. And, uh, Jean Michael Vincent in the movie, he plays string fellow Hawk. He was 40 years old in 1984 and it was with great sadness that Vincent died on February 10, 2019 at the age of 74 in Asheville, North Carolina from cardiac arrest while hospitalized at Mission Hospital. Danker, somewhere in the Norwegian Basin. Yes. It's still a 3,000 mile round trip through Russian airspace. Yeah. And that's why it's a bit hard to remember things, I'm sure. Because yeah. you nearly died, didn't you? Yeah. But the doctors brought you back, thankfully. Yeah. Deborah Bratt in the movie, she plays Marella. In 1984, she was 33 years old, and now she is 70 years old. And Hawk is going to go up against it. We could warn him. No, we can't. Experiences across multiple platforms. Intellectual property specifically designed to engage, entertain, and enlighten. Alex Court in the movie, he plays Michael Cosmas Breast 3. He was 51 years old in 1984 and was with sadness that Court passed away at his home in Valley View, Texas on August 9, 2021, at the age of 88. You're unbending, Hawk, unswerving. You think there's a right and a wrong and that the right should always win. Not so. There's great. Been bathed in garlic soup. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable, this guy. Anyway, and you're locked in a little tiny recording. Barry Van Dyke in the movie, he plays St. John Hoyt. In 1987, he was 36 years old, and now he is 71 years old. Here, how distressing. She, uh, she violated restricted airspace. Chimunga, yes. It's just an example of our work, just an introduction of what we do. I said, I'd be happy to. And I took it home and I watched it and I was just blown away. At Jean Bruce Scott in the film, she plays Kathleen O'Shaughnessy. In 1984, she was 28 years old and now she's 66 years old. Now come on, if he was the cop and you were in there, he'd help you. How long before they're going to send me back? You know, he'd be some friend. In themselves, I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. I can go out there and I can do that. Is that right, Jackie? Am I? Yeah. Garen Gwynn Davies in the movie, he plays Mike Rivers. In 1987, he was 30 years old and now he is 65 years old. And he's a businessman. He set up shop here a couple of months ago. Well, internationally, his record's so clean he could qualify for Pope. And he said Joe took him up on this charter and that's it. Yeah. Well, he had nothing but praise for Santinier. In, in early uh, productions that the Queen at the time wanted him to uh, have a play written. It was, they want, she wanted to see Falstaff in love. Michelle Scarambelli in the movie, she plays Joe Santini. In 1987, she was 32 years old and now she's 67 years old. She said he'd meet you here in the morning. 
But you're going to have to find somebody else to play with. This guy specifically requested Sinjin fly for him tomorrow. Hi, Michelle Scarabelli here. It's some kind of alien technology I'm not clear on. But you can find out more at galaxycon. William B. Davis, in the film, he plays Newman's. In 1987, he was 49 years old, and now he is 84 years old. Abigrad. Then I'd say they're in the center of the biggest hornet's nest since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Now get them out. We're both working towards it in a fairly similar path. We're not coming from really opposite directions, and we're going to the same clearing in the same jungle. Anthony Sherwood in the movie. He plays Jason Lord. In 1987, he was 38 years old, and now he is 73 years old. Look encouraging. I've tried cross checks, the Japanese Red Brigade, the Yakuza, and the Tokyo mobs. Takashi Yahara is spotless. He's as clean as a whistle. A new play called The Color of Courage. And it's about Canada's one and only all-black military battalion that was formed during the First World War. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to support us in producing the next videos.